Good morning, everyone. <clears throat> Again, my name is Jonathan Rivers, the product planner for Acura Sedans. I know I met some of you um, in the spring when we launched the new 2018 TLX. So, um, you know, very happy, very excited to be here today to talk about the new 2018 RLX. So we're gonna first start with the overall grand concept for this vehicle. So when the teams kicked off the development, they wanted to focus on captivating this luxury sport combination. And that's based on amazing styling and dynamics for the vehicle. So we're gonna talk about the design as that's one of the main focal points for RLX. Obviously this is based on a new Acura design direction. First introduced with the Acura Precision concept, launched in Detroit a couple years ago. Um, you've now seen that roll out in the MDX, uh, the TLX and now here with the RLX. With that design direction, it really creates an aggressive sedan, a really aggressive um, performance oriented uh, styling direction based around our diamond pentagon grille. Um, that's also included with our jewel eye headlights, um, the new LED taillights, and the overall low and wide stance and proportions for 2018. These are some of the original styling sketches for the vehicle for RLX, and we really think those actually made their way into production. Um, the very aggressive and sculpted hood design, again, the very low and wide proportion, the opening on the front, and then same thing for the rear, uh, very aggressive, dual exhaust, you know, rear diffuser, gloss black, um, really gives that sporty at, uh, athletic attitude. Um, these are some of the, the key change points. Again, as I mentioned last night during the walk around, um, it's really amazing because this is a mid-cycle refresh, but we really took it to the level of changing the entire front clip of the vehicle. All new sheet metal from the A-pillar forward, uh, front fenders, um, hood, headlight design, obviously the new grille, and then as I mentioned, the same thing from the rear, basically from the uh, LED taillights down is all new. Um, and there's also some new wheel designs, which we'll cover here uh, in a second. Um, when we look a little bit closer at the design, um, you still see that the RLX actually has the double row of jewel eye LED uh, headlights. Um, and you can see it um, lit up in its different um, moments of uh, day daylight running time, uh, turn signals, and uh, low beam. And then same thing for the uh, LED taillights. Um, the actual entire housing is LED. So um, the brake lights, the stop light, um, the turn signal, even the reverse park up, uh, backup light, everything is LED for the taillights. And here are the two wheel designs, as I mentioned. Um, they're both 19-inch uh, wheels. Um, last night we had the Sport Hybrid out. Again, those are Michelins with 245 40R 19s. Um, you can see that design here on the left with the uh, shark gray finish inserts and then the precision auto steer wheel on the right. And then one of the unique things is not just changing the styling, but it's bringing some attitude and character to the RLX, and we did that through paint, through color. So I think it was really nice last night talking to some of you. The first thing you said was like, wow, look at that paint, look at that red. And that's not maybe what you would expect from this car, but we really think it fits the, uh, the new look and design. Um, so there's actually seven exterior colors for 2018, and of those seven, six of them are actually all new for RLX. Um, last night, again, we had our premium paint option, the uh, Brilliant Red Metallic. It's a very high quality paint. Um, you'll also get to see the uh, Majestic Black Pearl um, during your drive today. And then it, that also carried over too for the interior. Um, obviously, we updated some of the um, materials and touch points throughout the vehicle, especially the high upgraded Milano leather. Um, but also some of the interior color options as well. I think the first thing you'll notice when you have a chance to sit in the vehicle is the new premium sports seat design. Um, again, it's very aggressively bolstered on the sides and the shoulders, but at the same token, it's very comfortable even on a long drive or a canyon drive, which you'll get to experience. Um, with that, there's also very nice high contrast stitching and piping throughout the vehicle. So we have four interior color options for 2018. Uh, we have an all new option in the espresso interior. Uh, and what's unique is for the darker interior colors, both the ebony and espresso, you actually get a black headliner. So a kind of sporty uh, black headliner. And then for the lighter color interiors for the first time, we actually color match um, the steering wheel and the headliner to the interior. So again, a real premium feel. And uh, I believe we actually have all of these interiors available today. So you should be able to switch out of the cars and see them for yourself. So again, we'll talk about performance. RLX is really has really two key fundamental technologies. That's precision all-wheel steer and the sport hybrid super handling all-wheel drive. Both of these key technologies are, were designed for better ride, comfort, and performance, depending on the driving situation. But you can really experience some of that today with the sport hybrid. We'll quickly cover the precision all-wheel steer model. 
Uh, it carries over our 3.5 liter V6 direct injected engine. Um, it's 310 horsepower, 272 pound feet of torque. Um, but for 2018, we've updated it to the all new 10 speed automatic transmission. Uh, the 10 speed automatic transmission is very smooth and responsive. Um, has a wide range and close ratio, uh, you can see compared to our um, previous six-speed transmission in the RLX. And despite its uh, under light acceleration or very aggressive hard acceleration, uh, it's very very smooth kind of rhythmical, rhythmical shift pattern um, that makes for a great driving dynamics. Now onto the Sport Hybrid. Acura, as you know, as we've been here for over 30 years, um, we have a very strong performance heritage. And that's always started at the top of our brand with the NSX. Um, back we had our first generation NSX and those same key technologies, you know, VTEC, V6 engines, um, those things made its way down into our core products at that time. And honestly, that's no different than what we're doing today. This, the launch of the second generation NSX, the sport hybrid technology, we've now had an opportunity to bring that to our core models. Uh, again, I know many of you got to drive the MDX Sport Hybrid in Seattle earlier this year, and finally you'll get to sample it in the RLX today. Um, one of the unique things about this, though, is that despite having the same, a lot of the same hardware components right down to the part number, we actually tuned and changed the, the characters of each of the vehicles based on the driver needs. So obviously in the NSX, it's all about absolute performance and exhilaration, acceler uh, exhilarating acceleration. Um, but on the MDX, it's going to be more smooth, you know, a lot of low-end torque and balance. And then on the RLX, it's, it's again, you're going to feel the power today, and especially in straight line acceleration. But um, we hope you enjoy it, and you'll have a chance to drive all three of these vehicles today. Now, when we look at the actual Sport Hybrid Super Handling All-Wheel Drive system. It's made up of several key components. Um, obviously, it starts with our V6 3.5 liter engine, um, and made it to that is a seven-speed dual-clutch transmission with its own electric motor integrated between the engine and the transmission. Um, in the center of the vehicle, we have a power drive unit, which actually kind of communicates where the power needs to be distributed. Um, that's capable by the twin motor unit, which is an actual electronic rear diff, which can send the power um, up to 100% left or right, and then trail brake by regenerative braking on the other end. So it's actual true electronic torque vectoring. Uh, and then we have our uh, intelligent power unit, which is basically the battery for the vehicle. Um, you can see the total system maximum power is 377 horsepower, and you can see our class leading fuel economy numbers. Um, speaking of the IPU, the intelligent power unit, or battery, uh, we've made some um, small improvements for 2018. Um, you can see we actually made it a little bit smaller and thus reduced the weight of the battery as well. And through that, we were actually make, uh, able to make some improvements to the overall trunk capacity uh, where that's stored. So next, let's talk about equipment. Uh, one of the key things that Acura is working on these days is uh, safety technologies. And if you're not familiar, we have our own suite of driver assistive and safety technologies in Acura Watch. Um, this first debuted on the RLX. It's now uh, proliferating its way through the Acura brand. Um, it's now standard on the MDX, the TLX, now the RLX, and it's available on our other two key models as well. I believe there's over 160,000 Acura vehicles on the road with this system. Um, it's comprised of all these key technologies and uh, new for 2018, we have what's called Traffic Jam Assist. Uh, so what I'll do here is I'll uh, run a quick video kind of highlighting each of these key features, and then we'll dive into a little bit more details for Traffic Jam Assist. The available blind spot information system continuously monitors behind and to the sides of the RLX, helping to alert the driver if a vehicle is detected. Adaptive Cruise Control maintains a set speed and distance from a detected vehicle ahead on the highway and is able to bring the vehicle to a complete stop. At low speeds, the all-new Traffic Jam Assist is designed to help keep the RLX centered in the detected lane by applying progressive, precise steering inputs. Coupled with adaptive cruise control, Traffic Jam Assist reduces driver workload and can activate from a complete stop. The Lane Keeping Assist System continues steering assistance at higher speeds, helping to keep the RLX precisely in the detected lane. Lane Departure Warning and Road Departure Mitigation are designed to alert the driver to an unintentional departure from a detected lane or roadway. Road Departure Mitigation is able to apply steering torque and apply the brakes to keep the vehicle from leaving the roadway entirely. Forward Collision Warning, part of the Collision Mitigation Braking System, scans the road ahead to alert the driver of potential collisions. If a driver isn't able to avoid collision with a detected vehicle, the Collision Mitigation Braking System is able to respond in four stages. Sensor fusion and interplay of the vehicle's radar and front camera systems can quickly recognize potential threats, identifying vehicles, other objects, and even pedestrians. 
When reversing, the rear cross-traffic monitor uses radar to detect vehicles approaching from the side. The available surround view camera system provides a 360-degree display of your surroundings, allowing for precise parking in demanding situations. Okay, great. So now we'll talk about traffic jam assist. So I think you got a glimpse of it from the video, but to highlight, it's really about supporting the driver, um, especially here in LA in these major cities with the uh, um, heavily congested uh, highway driving. You know, it creates a lot of stress. I know several of you drove up and we drove up yesterday. I mean, it, it was brutal. And you know, having a system like this is great because it really helps to reduce the actual required driving input. Um, you, I'm not you know, saying it's completely autonomous, but you, know, you can actually do some hands-free driving. And that's uh, made uh, possible through our driver assistance system. Um, previously, we had lane keeping assist, but that actually only activated over 40 miles an hour above. Now, with traffic jam assist, as the video alluded to, even from a complete stop and in low speed traffic, the vehicle will keep the distance in front of it using a detection of camera and radar, but it can also uh, keep itself within that lane. It's really an amazing technology. Uh, it's funny, I'll say, when I, when I first was in, working on this in development, we were uh, with the engineers driving around, and there was moments where I was like, is that you, is the car? Because they've really fine-tuned, um, you know, a lot of times it's, you know, some of those systems can be jerky, you're kind of not confident and inspired, but I think when you drive this vehicle, you'll be really impressed with the new system. Um, as far as the usage, um, it's really easy to activate and turn on. Um, it's actually um, three easy steps, and we did this on purpose, knowing that uh, many of our current customers actually already um, have lane keeping assist. So to activate traffic jam assist, um, there's three steps. For your vehicles today, my understanding is that the system will already be on. So the first step is to turn it on pressing the main button, but that should be done for you. Um, and then from there, you just take off and go. And whenever you're ready to, to set the system, um, there's one knob on the steering wheel, you're gonna press that to set your speed. And then there's a separate button on the lower right, which will turn on traffic jam assist. Once you've done that, you'll get a uh, notification and the multi-information display between the gauges <coughs> to notify you that the system is on and activated. Next, I wanna talk about AccuraLink. Uh, for those that aren't familiar, um, it's a premium service that's offered on our vehicles. And uh, we've had this for a long time that gives you all of these great functionality. Um, and we've always had an application uh, available on either iOS or Android uh, smartphones. But we've recently updated the, um, the application and its functionality. Um, you'll have a chance to even um, work and play with that today, is my understanding. But I mean, there's a lot of great things you can do, locking, unlocking the vehicle. Um, you can look up a, a destination in the map, send that to the car in advance. As soon as you get in, it's there and ready to boot up.